I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for spring. Hi, my name is Sarah, and welcome to my channel which is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. For today's video, I am so happy to be partnering again with Vivaya, and I'm going to be bringing you 10 transitional winter to spring looks. Now before we get into the styling, I just want to share a little bit about the company. Vivaya is a shoe brand that focuses on sustainable materials and they make their shoes out of things like recycled plastic bottles and other natural materials like hemp and cotton. A lot of their shoes are actually machine washable and because they are fabric they're really flexible and comfortable to wear. I have actually been wearing the boots that they sent me from my first collaboration pretty frequently in the fall and winter and even though they have a pointy toe I don't have a problem with my wide feet. They're very very comfortable. So I was really excited when they offered me two pairs of shoes from their collection to pick out something that's more spring-like and bring you these outfits. So the first pair that they sent me is the Aria 5 degree pointed toe ballet flat. This is a classic ballet plait with a pointed toe. It's very on trend at the moment. And the fabric is made out of a hemp, cotton, and recycled bottle blend. So it's very, very soft. And just like with the boots that I wore last time, they're very comfortable. They're, they don't squeeze my toes, which I have a lot of problems sometimes with pointy toe shoes because I have wider feet. This particular model, I believe, is machine washable and it's very, very flexible. Now just a quick note on sizing. The size that I have here is a five and a half, which is my normal shoe size. Now on their website, it states that if you have wide feet, they recommend that you size up half a size. But originally when I got the size six, it was just way too big for me and I couldn't keep the shoes on my feet. So they were actually very kind and were willing to exchange them for me for the five and a half. So just a warning for anyone who has wider feet for this particular style, I would actually recommend getting your normal size. The second pair that I was sent was the Julie Round Toe Heels. These are a block heel and they have, I would say, kind of an almond shaped toe. And it's just a really classic two-tone color that will never go out of style. For this pair, I did size up to a size six and these actually fit me really perfectly. So if you are between sizes or if you have wider feet, I would suggest sizing up in this style. Now, Vivaya has so kindly offered a discount code to my viewers. If you use the code VLOVE, you will get 10% off your purchase, and I will put the links down in the description box so you can just click and go right to their website. As always, when thinking about making purchases that are more sustainable, think about the sources from the company, of course. But in my mind, the way to make your articles the most sustainable is if you keep them for many, many years and continue to wear them. And for me personally, because these two shoes are such a classic style and they are so comfortable with the fabric uppers, I do think that they will last in my closet for many years. Now let's get right to the styling. Look number one is a classic combo of leggings paired with ballet flats. I'm wearing my Spanx faux leather leggings with the moto detailing, which I think just adds a little bit of a fun touch. And then I have the very classic Aria ballet flats with the pointed toe with them. And then on top for an extra layer for warmth, I'm wearing a hand knit poncho that I made many years ago. I did not use a pattern and this was knit out of a hedgehog fibers fingering weight yarn. So it's a pretty lightweight yarn, but it's still very warm. And it's just perfect for those days when it's still chilly in the morning, but maybe by the afternoon it warms up a little bit and I can take off the poncho. And I just have a simple black turtleneck underneath. For outfit number two, I'm ready for slightly warmer weather. I'm wearing my chalk and notch Wren top. And this is out of a cotton lawn, so it's nice and light. And then I have it tucked into a ready-to-wear suede skirt. I think the pointed toe ballet flats gives a very feminine look, and it's a really comfy but cute outfit that I would wear to the office. One of the most current ways to wear ballet flats is with straight leg jeans. So in this outfit, I have paired the Aria flats with my cropped straight leg jeans from Madewell. And then I have a Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe Tee in a simple striped French inspired look tucked in. And then I have my Pattern Emporium Grab a Cup of Cardi over the top. I really love how effortless this looks and I enjoy wearing the red handbag. It just gives a little pop of color to the outfit. For outfit number four, I'm taking it up a notch and dressing up for evening with the Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit. Now, when I go out in the evenings for dinner with my husband on a date night, I don't always want to wear uncomfortable footwear, so I think that these flats are a really good choice. The pointed toe keeps them nice and dressy, and I think that it goes well with the jumpsuit, but I have all of the comfort of being able to walk easily. And I'm just pairing it with my clutch and some gold jewelry, and I'm ready for dinner. And finally, for outfit number five, I am rounding out these springtime looks 
with a sweet white cotton eyelet dress. This is the Love Notions Rhapsody dress. And then I have my Hampton jean jacket thrown over top for an extra layer for warmth. And then I have on a belt in a contrasting color just to add a little bit of accent. And then I'm carrying my black Chloe bag and I matched that to the Aria flats. I think this is a really cute outfit. It has a lot of interest in it and it's perfect for springtime. I feel like I just wanna be waltzing in a field of flowers. Um, not that there are any right now where I live. This outfit I envision wearing for a casual day of shopping. So I have the wide leg denim trouser on and a lightweight fabric. This is the Paradise Patterns Protea pants. And then I have on my closet core tee, which is made out of a cotton jersey. So a little bit of structure in this boxy tee, but still very casual. And then I just have my Madewell tote and the cap toe pump. I think the cap toe pumps dress up the outfit a little bit while still being very comfortable for an outing with friends. Now this kind of outfit, I would definitely wear to the office. But if your office environment is a little bit more formal than mine, then you could feel free to switch out the jeans for some cropped pants instead. So for this look, I'm wearing the cap toe pumps with some cropped straight leg jeans. I think it shows off the shoes really nicely. And then I have a ready to wear belted blazer on the top and my Victory Patterns Francis Merino Jersey tee underneath as a base layer. I really love the look of this outfit. I think that it is chic while still being pretty casual and I think it fits my lifestyle really well. Now this outfit might be a little bit of a quirky combination, but I really like it. I paired a nice fitted v-neck sweater that I knit several years ago with a simplicity midi skirt. And I think that this is a nice dressy outfit that you could wear for something like going to church or going out to brunch with friends or something along those lines, maybe like a daytime date. And I just really like the way that the shoes look with the midi skirt. I think that it's a very classy look. I'm really finding that these cap toe pumps are just so versatile and you can throw them on with almost any look and it just dresses it up a little bit. So for this outfit, I wanted to wear kind of a long line duster-esque sort of cardigan and I have this fun leopard print. This is the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. And then I have a top on from itch to stitch out of a linen fabric and then just some ready to wear gray jeans. I really like the way this outfit looks with the pop of color from my handbag. And um, this is one of my favorite looks, I think, of the video. For my final look, I paired the Vicky Sews Veronica dress with my McCall's trench coat. I wanted something that was really elevated to match the dressiness of the shoes, and I really like this as a formal work outfit or for a date night outfit. If you enjoyed this video, I have another one about leveling up your style as a home sewist, so watch this one next.